Good morning, good morning. Well, it's really lunchtime. I've <laughs> I got myself together. How are y'all doing? You doing good? You are? Good, good. Yes, it's beautiful. Beautiful day. A little chilly. It's uh, started out pretty cool this morning, about 61, but it's moved up to uh, 76 right now. So it's very pleasant for here and uh, enjoying that very much. Thought I'd start out with their comments today. And the first one, poor Spotty Potter. Spotty Bonnie's back. Glad to be back home. Love doing craft shows and seeing my daughter. But it was sure good to be home. Oh, that must have been so much fun. The weather was perfect for y'all to have the event. Yeah, did you tr taste any of the food? The roadkill? <laughs> Our food that could be it could be a ro roadkill, but was not. <laughs> you, I wish you could share it. I would just love to know everything y'all did. What you did, what you saw, who you met. You know, just lovely. I just envy you that. And uh, and here we are. Here's Miss, here's Butterfly, a uh, Lauren um, Treplick. Treplick. I found your challenge. It says hi, Butterfly. <laughs> I found your channel completely by accident, and I'm so thankful. I want to respect your privacy, so don't share your address on YouTube. There must be a way to exchange address. Do you have an email? Yes, I do. I can send you an email, and then my sweet third graders can send a letter. I have 21 students this year. I don't know if any of them can knit or crochet, but many of them love to make bracelets and create things. I just love them so much. Anyway, you're wonderful watching your videos before I tuck myself into bed. It's part of my nighttime routine now. Have a good Wednesday. Well, thank you very much. Can't believe it's already. Oh, where does weeks going? I mean, they're just flying, aren't they? Just fine. Yes, I uh, did brought, give you my uh, email address. Be sure to flag it real big somehow so I'll know it when it comes in. I get confused sometimes on emails. I don't know whether to open them or not. So, uh, yes, say something that would grab my attention. I don't know what that might be. But... <laughs> Hopefully, I'll notice it. Hopefully, I'll try anyway. Yeah, I'm not good at computers. But I do uh, do look forward to hearing from your children, from your class, Butterfly. Larian. 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 And here's Maribel. Maribel is hooked. Here, hi, it's a beautiful day here in Connecticut. Connecticut, I don't even know where Connecticut is. I'm gonna have to find out. Nice cool weather and sun is out. I have to clean my glasses several times a day or won't be able to see out of them. Yes, we do need to. Sometimes we're just so busy we don't realize that they become uh, you know, smudged and stuff. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. I have my annual checkup in one month. Good luck on that. One more month, huh? So you have to go oh, good and get that behind you for the holidays, right? <laughs> That's a good move. What a wonderful idea to have children write you. Yes, I am looking forward to that, Maribel. Am I a little frightening? <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I might enjoy them so much, and I'll be wanting to read them online and read them to everybody, show drawings. So, um, I'm sort of excited about it. I just hope I can respond the way I need to, you know, to their letters. 
And I'm thinking, you know, do I write a, 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 a letter to each one of them and put them in their own individual envelopes? I, I don't know. I just have to work on that. And I will. I will. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. Yes, it does, Maribel. Have a wonderful day, dear. Hope you didn't have to work today. Ten hours the other day, huh? That's a lot of hours to put in. Mm, that's a lot of hours to put in. Are you on your feet the whole time when you're working 10 hours? You are? Well, don't overdo it. Take care of yourself. Your checkup's coming up in one, in one month. <laughs> the, oh, Joy Bird. Hi, Joy Bird. The thumbs up or down on your video, you might have to scroll to the left to find it. Okay, I will. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll give that a try. Sure will. Let's see. I think I've read all my comments for today. Thank you for commenting and sharing your day and things that you're doing. I'm, so far, I'm continuing on this uh my celebration tribute to uh, Queen Elizabeth's life. And the other project I was working on, been trying to video, well, my sister finally had to come and get it and finish it up. I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't hold the needles that I needed to use. I just, I didn't know how, how to do that, you know, with my hands not working that well. So, uh, she came to my rescue as usual, <laughs> and I'm glad she did. So, I'll be putting the video up as soon as she finishes. I don't know how long she's pretty busy right now, because uh, it's just the way it is. It's time of the year, you know, taking care of your home, and preparing for the holidays, and, uh, you know, having family in, or trick-or-treaters. Oh, last year if I had trick or treaters, I, I don't, I don't remember. I think it was at my sister's house, and uh, the kids from up the street, which are really her grandchildren, they just live three or four houses up. So it's really nice to see them all dressed up. Of course, they're getting older now, so they may not dress up. But I'm sure we'll have some trick or treaters if the weather is good. And it's not rainy. <laughs> Oh, I can remember trick-or-treating going into town. Yeah, see, I lived out in the country, way out in the country. Well, not really, but at the time, it was a long way, and we didn't have any neighbors or anything like that. We just, so, uh, we would take a field trip with somebody and go trick-or-treating not very far. Sometimes we never trick-or-treated past our house. Mom and Dad just gave us candy, or at school we got candy, you know, it was just the way it was then. But yes, I, I, uh, Nita was telling me at the library they're decorating for Halloween. And yesterday I went with my sister, had to go, you know, yesterday was a $2 day at that store she loved so much. And uh, so we went there and I had taken my walker, and I had, was sitting on the walker there. All of a sudden, this little boy was about, oh, three foot tall, you know, and he had this big, black, fuzzy, yes, you're right, spider with green eyes. Not him, but the, the, the spider, and he came up by me and went, oh, I got that, I got that. His mother got all over him. I said, no, no, it's okay. Because I saw him playing with it, so I figured, you know, he's a little boy, and he's got his own little spider. But it was fun to watch him. <laughs> and so he, all through the store, I didn't go very far, because I was, I was sitting on my walker more than walk. <laughs> and he would spy me, you know, have to. But his, his mom was very protective of him, and, and that's the way it should be. It really should be. But it was nice to 
just sit outside. Now, I did go to the post office yesterday. My sister took me to get a uh, post office box. Uh, so I would have a post office box and wouldn't have to give out the information that my uh, sister feels is unsafe. Um, so, it, anyway, I went to the post office. And... I couldn't get a, 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 a mailbox. I couldn't get one. Well, first you have to own a car, and you have to have car insurance, the proof of that. I did have a driver's license, but I don't drive, but I have a driver's license. And then it, had, it said something about a lease for your apartment, a lease. Well, I don't have a lease for my apartment. Or, you know, if you own the home, you have to have some kind of utility deal or something in your name. Well, I, I don't do any of that, you know. <coughs> so I couldn't get a post office box. And there's no alternatives, according to the lady at the post office. So I guess I won't have a post office box. <laughs> and um, so my, my uh, I don't know what quite what I'm gonna do. Uh, but anyway, uh, we'll figure out something, especially, I want to get those letters from those children. I really would like to do that. That would be just so much fun. And I got a message from Gigi, and the reason I hadn't heard from her, uh, she's gone to the hospital and been in the hospital, uh, three days at least, maybe more. But after her surgery, she's running into complications, so keep her in your prayers. I told her I'd contact her through Messenger on Monday, give her time to recuperate. And uh, so everybody's back in the fold, <laughs> so to speak, Bonnie's home, <laughs> Teresa's home. Mirabelle's son's gone, so she's preparing for her things and taking care of her. And so we're all good. And uh, Joy Bird sounds good, so I'm very pleased to hear everybody's doing well. And I'm doing well, too. I really am doing well. And uh, I've just had to slow down a little bit. Yeah, they're telling me I'm getting too heavy. Very difficult on my on my heart and stuff. But I don't know quite what to do about it. <laughs> it's not that I eat that much, I guess. It's just that I don't do much. You know. It's hard for me to get around and when you're riding on a hug around or you're sitting in your chair, it's not gonna produce any metallic surges. <laughs> <laughs> to get, you know, like at the hospital last week, uh, one of the little girls was helping me get to my off to the office, and she had a little wristband on her wrist, or watch is what it was, and she kept looking at it. And I said, "Honey, I'll be all right. You go ahead. I'll be all right." And she said, "She said, oh, I'm not looking at the time, ma'am. I'm looking at my steps." Me and my brother are in competition on how many steps we can do a day. And I said, oh my, well you do a thousand or something like that? She says, oh no, 10,000 steps. And I'm going, 10,000 steps, that's fantastic, fantastic. And I'm thinking, how many steps do I make in a day? And maybe 200. <laughs> now that's pretty bad, isn't it? It's pretty bad, but we have to accept ourselves that that's the way it is, and, uh, well, that's all there is to it to me. I want, did you notice this, uh, this is a quilt that I purchased 20 years ago. It's, um, hand-stitched and applique with pictures of pioneers and stuff, and I love it because it's cotton, and I love the feel of cotton. So I've been cutting it, you know, taking pieces off of it for different projects and stuff. And so it's now getting uh, 
small enough that it's like a comfort, uh, like a, uh, we call it just the duvet that you lay on your bed or something. But instead of laying on the bed, I thought, well, I'll just put it on my chair because I feel, I like the feel of cotton. I really do. I've said that before, but this is true. And uh, the other uh, Afghan uh, lap throw that I finished for the baby, I've got to uh, uh, tie up lot, the loose ends and stuff. So, um, are, are y'all feeling special today? Do you feel like everything's just beautiful? The world is beautiful and you're tired and you, you've given all you can give and your little body is so tired but your mind just stays so busy planning on things that you need to do, thinking about things that you would like to do, thinking about projects for people you know or, or that, you know, looking forward to people you do not know and learn them or you're thinking about just all kinds of things. We need to find peace when it's bedtime. You know, when it's time to go to bed, we need to find peace. You know, they say, do not have a computer on in your bedroom. Um, don't have the screen on. Don't have the TV on. Just make your bedroom a, 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 like a sanctuary, a place of calm, very calm. I know I had uh, curtains put up in my other apartment, and what a difference that made. You know, I love to see the sun come up in the morning. That's not the problem. It's just that, you know, when you live in a city, street lights, you hear cars on the road, you, you hear all these things outside, and you need to feel safe somewhere nice and quiet, and I had that up in the country. So I, I, I'm very fortunate in where I live now that it's pretty soundproof. It really is. But uh, I do like occasionally to crack a window and hear the rooster crow in the morning. Because, you know, just two houses over, the guy there, he's got, oh, I guess about 20, oh, maybe, maybe 12 hens and a rooster. And I so enjoy that. So enjoy that. But it being so cool right now, it's just sitting outside in the mornings, the crisp morning, it's just perfect. Just perfect. And then at nighttime, I don't know, I like to go out and look at the stars before I go to bed. It might be 10.30 at night. It might be 8.30, whatever it is. I like to... I like to go outside and look at the stars if the skies allow me. In the city, it's more, probably more hard, more hard, more hard to see those stars. But uh, it's just wonderful. This morning, I was uh, feeding the animals, and I'd stepped outside to do that. And this little old butterfly, little yellow butterfly, just a flittering around, flittering and flittering and flittering, you know, just, just, I don't know if they bounce in the air, you know, they just whip and then they flow, or how they do that, you know, sometimes you see them gliding, but this one this morning was very busy, very busy little butterfly. <laughs> But I enjoyed every second on it. Every second. Then the birds came down. I had not put any food in the feeder in a while. So uh, I set the feeder out a few minutes ago. So I'm hoping to see a few birds come by and fuss for a while. And then you know what comes after that? Those silly old squirrels. <laughs> they come back. Get out of here. Get out of here, squirrels. Go, go, go. And then I look and see how cute they are. I can't run them off. But the puppies, you know, they like to do that. But tonight, before you bed, go to bed, you want to think of a song you, your mama sang. Remember a favorite song maybe your mama sang? Or a favorite song that you used to listen to? I used to listen to Moon River. 
after I got married. You know, Dean Martin had Moon River. And, uh, oh, was it, was it, that's him, wasn't it? Dean Martin? No, In the Misty Moonlight was Dean. I'm getting all confused. But yeah, Dean Martin, this is In the Misty Moonlight by the flickering firelight. Your hand in my hand. Just beautiful. Beautiful song. Beautiful song. Yeah, I love music. I don't know if that's something we're allowed in our bedrooms before we go to bed. I guess you can listen to that in any room. I guess you can get Pandora for free. It's just that I don't have a radio or no I don't have a radio so if I don't get it on my uh, phone you know I miss not having a radio in my house remember when you get up in the morning and you flip on the radio and it comes on automatically and starts playing music that makes you happy you know <laughs> you saw that movie uh Groundhog Day, you know, where every morning he wakes up to the same music day in and day out, day in and day out. <laughs> I like that movie. It's very funny. Well, I'm going to let you guys go because I'm rambling and no real topic except that I'm thinking of all of y'all and appreciate y'all very, very much. And remember that you're special. Very, very special. And uh, if you don't feel special, tell yourself you're special. Will you? Will you do that? Why not? You are. You are special. If you're sitting there right now, in this moment, we're right now in this moment, live in this moment. Don't think about tomorrow or you know, like Rusty says, you know, don't worry about the things you cannot change. There you go. As simple as that. And just relax. Enjoy the moment. And a lot of times that'll help you have peace. It really will. Some days, though, you just wear out and you're too tired to sleep. Your mind's too tired to rest. But then you know that you have to. That you have to rest and you have to take care of yourself because you're important to so many people more than you could ever ever imagine well let's remember that god has you in the palm of his hand pray for mother earth our bumblebees our butterflies our caterpillars and for each other because we're all on this earth, this world, together. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>